you would enjoy a experience where you're with a woman and she kind of sugar mommies you but marriage wise your wife would you really idealistically want her to pay for everything well i feel like and i the work that i do i mean sitting i sit a lot which isn't good for your health but like there are men that are breaking their bodies to provide for their wife and i think i think for these men obviously like i i don't think any of them begrudgingly do that sort of work but they fucking destroy their bodies and I, it, it occurs, or it crosses my mind, like, would these men trade the back-breaking, difficult, grueling, dangerous, uh, dirty jobs that a lot of men do to have, like, a fucking pampered life provide? Like, I know it sounds kind of sim. No, no. So then like, they would, I hear what you're saying. These yeah. men break their fucking bodies, and it's like, I get, I get that it's, maybe this is, I get that it's like, so I, as eating. a man, you have to provide. You have mm -hmm. to bring the money if you're not you're you're a pussy or you're emasculated but i'm like you guys are breaking your fucking bodies and if some chick came in and was like and you could still be in your masculine and still be a leader in the household but she's making fucking bank and you don't have to do that backbreaking work and she's some fucking attorney would, or a doctor. would you stop doing the backbreaking labor and be fulfilled yeah so yeah, I, I'm is not, that the question is, is yeah, that like, well, like, kind of what the point you're trying to get well, at? I'm, I'm thinking because like i view what i do a lot of people might laugh at this like, I feel like the job I do is stressful. I work 70, yeah. 80, yeah. 70 80 hours a week. Um, I'm doing very well, but I'm working a fuck ton. Yeah. I sit a lot. I got neck pain. I got back pain. So I think to myself, I think, oh, I don't have to sit in a chair fucking eight hours a day? And my, my girl makes money? That's not such a bad fucking trade-off from my view. Yeah, sure, yeah. But some of these you... men who are fucking plumbers, electricians, whatever, they're on their fucking knees all day. If you're a handyman, you're, you're getting all fucked up. A lot of these guys... Their, their knees are gone, their back is gone by 50. Yeah. And it's like, mm -hmm. so I don't know. I, I, but yeah. would you not just trade that in for something that totally gives you purpose still, but is less like well, labor intensive? I, mean, I feel like what you're doing right I now, you, <laughs> <laughs> I'm surf. saying it's totally fine, but I'm just pointing out that I feel like you would feel a little emasculated if she's paying for everything. Absolutely. Because then she is somewhat yeah. taking a leader, leader yeah. role. I've never been in the position, really. Right. So. I yeah. haven't been there, so I, I don't know. But like, for, uh, ideal, like if I think about it, it's like if some chick just fucking came in who's fucking insanely wealthy and is like, "I'll take care of you." I'm like, assuming she's like, if she otherwise meets all my other metrics, like she's she's pleasant, attractive, etc. Like, is it that big of an L as a guy to? date a woman who makes more money than you like to me that doesn't strike me as an l no right so that's something like you would consider not that important to give up for that in return you know yeah well i think like i i'm i'm pretty sure it's safe to assume that you the work you do you find fulfillment in yeah, yeah. so yeah i mean in the same way i think people who are plumbers electricians like if if they just disappeared tomorrow the world would fall apart so in some sense, like probably a lot of them get a lot of fulfillment out of what they do. And so there's a purpose in their life. Mm -hmm. And so they get paid to do it. There is, an, there is this goal where society runs and then they get to come home to a family who is hopefully healthy, who mm -hmm. hopefully uh, they, never, they weren't sleeping around in their younger years sure. and they have this genuine bond and they have kids and they're propagating this legacy that will affect the human race for generations to come so i think there is like great there is i think that is hardwired into men and women specifically men yes like yeah. women women too but women get but gratification yeah, so, from different exactly. from different places and so, men need men need like purpose and need to yeah. be needed essentially yeah and like yeah uh, i think well, it okay. can depend from person to person but generally yeah that is the case and just as far as what you're saying, I'm not saying like certainly the work that the, these men who do backbreaking yeah, work, yeah. it's absolutely it's incredibly valuable to society. And I'm sure that why well, I would hope that they view it that way, that the work that they do, even men who are uh, garbage men, like that's a very valuable thing. Like if there's no sanitation, like society starts looking very ugly very quickly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I, like, it's just look again, I don't think this is a situation I'm ever going to be in. But like, I, I can't like. This idea, I feel like it's uh, this idea that if your girl like makes, 
Here, let me let me clarify one thing. A girl who makes a lot of money, she's not more attractive to me. Like it yeah. doesn't make her more attractive. Like I'm not going out of my way to pursue wealthy women mm -hmm. because it, for me, it's not an attraction trigger, but on a pure like long-term tra trajectory, like is it kind of a plus? Sure, but I'm not gonna be more attracted to a girl if she's obscenely wealthy. So it's not like sure. I'm ever gonna be in a gold digger situation where I'm like pursuing a chick because of her wealth, but. Echostatic85 donated $99.99. 99 I'm a stay at home father. My wife works and makes all the money. I am fulfilled and don't feel emasculated or embarrassed. And frankly, being a stay-at-home father is harder than my last job. job. And I was a New York City firefighter for 11 years. I don't know, maybe like... I don't necessarily think that it has to be emasculating, but it goes against like your, your, like the nature of how men and women parent. And like, I don't know how old your children are, obviously, but I think it is very essential for the mother to be very present in young children's life specifically. And I don't think sure. that, I don't think a, a stay at home father can provide the type of nurturing that a mother can. Yeah, but she can also be at home and be making that much money. I disagree with that. Um, like, okay, from personal experience, my uncle is a stay at home dad and my aunt is like the CFO of this company or whatever. and. Like, he, le he used to work at SeaWorld, and like when SeaWorld, before they got canceled, mm -hmm. but um, <laughs> now he was like a shark trainer or whatever, but, and he quit his job <laughs> to like raise their kids, okay. and I have a lot of respect for him for doing that, because I agree with you, it can be very emasculating for a man to kind of take on the role of what would be traditionally a woman, but I still think that a parent's love is a parent's love, regardless of if it's no, coming I, from a mom or a dad. I, I agree, but the type of the way that that men and women portray their love for their children is fundamentally different. Yeah, like is like especially like I mean, if we're talking about like random statistics on yeah. people that grow up in single parent households, especially with young boys, boys that grow up in like single mother households are statistically like going to have a like. Le like a, a smaller portion of them are going to graduate high school, are going to um, like end up in, and a larger amount of them are going to end up in prison. But it's not the same for if it's a single father because they like fathers essentially provide discipline, and that's what young boys essentially need. So but, you think they're missing like the the cherish feeling cherished? Yeah. Well, I think that well, especially with I, I, I again I don't know how old their ch children are but especially with like newborns and infants it's really essential for the mother to be very present compared to the father I would agree with that yeah did you have a follow up no not really oh what was the original question okay yeah I was gonna mention <laughs> that I it, it stemmed this conversation stemmed from paying for the first day so right. that's why I was like that's why I was asking you what's Shocking. ideal like in your marriage because if ideally you're taking on the leader role and mm. paying for everything and you don't pay for the first date that's going to turn off a girl that maybe you would want to be married to yeah, in the saying. future mm. right I see what you're saying I'm working through it right now in my brain <laughs> the wheels uh, are turning yeah I mean I yeah I think like as so uh, I'll as a non-believer, so as a believer, when I go into a relationship with somebody, it usually comes with them sharing that kind of moral structure. There is a value system, an objective value system that is outside of what I think can be right or wrong in reference in the Bible. But so when I go into that relationship, there are those values shared on the other side, because I've probably talked to them, I've probably gotten to know them, I'm texting, whatever. And so when I go on that first date, I can usually safely assume that she is not being promiscuous. She's not sleeping around with a ton of dudes. But in secular society, you can't make that assumption. It, it, probably most women are going to be, I'm saying most women, not all women. Most women are going to be sleeping around. So to go on that first date, it is hard for me to rationalize as a man providing giving my provisioning to a woman that is not going to give me her, I guess, her, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? 
I, I'm at a loss. Let me ask you a <laughs> question. Yeah, up, yeah. Okay, go, uh, go. In and out, right? Okay, the Correct. owners are, it's Christian, right? Yes. I don't know how attractive the heirs of the fucking in and out <laughs> dynasty are. Fair enough. Um, I don't know how much in and out. Let's say, let's look. Let's say a billionaire Christian virgin heiress comes into your life. You turning her down? No. Or, okay, I shouldn't say heiress because then okay, it's okay. like family money. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's not really working for it. Yeah, well, so somehow she has a buttload a of, of money. money. Yeah. But she works for it. Okay. She works for it. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Do you, is that like for you, you say no to that? I would, so I would have to dig a little deeper into. So, if I pursue this relationship with her, I'm, I'm not opposed to her having her job. I mean, she's single, so she has to provide for herself. So, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make the assumption that, like, she's just gonna float on by and, uh, yeah. So, she has to make money. So, but when I get, if I get married to her and we start having kids, is her primary goal gonna be mothering? Or is she going to be saying, That's a fair point. I have to, no, I want to keep working. Because if we're going to talk about, biblically speaking, I mean, Proverbs 31, the basis for a ideal woman, the ideal wife, is primarily mother. But then it lists all these other things that she should be. And one of my favorite verses in the entire Bible is that the woman should strengthen her arms. So she got to be in the gym. Wait, but, okay, uh, so what if she has all that money and she has time? Yeah. You know, her money's working for her. She can oh, provide that attention to actually, the child. Actually, that, that actually is referenced in the Bible. So in Proverbs 31, <laughs> it talks about the woman who can take what she has and she multiplies it. Mm -hmm. And she is, and it's not just this woman that is secluded to the home and is never seen. She is also well known among the city elders. So she has this ideal reputation. She's well known by the city oh, elders. Okay, <laughs> calm down, 